LMR has hooked us up once again. LMR has hooked us up once again. They sent another thing that's been on my wish list. First off, before we get started, I want to thank each and every one of you for all the support. These links that I've been, you know, putting down in the description, you guys have been clicking them. You've been using the homepage link to buy stuff off LMR. You've been using the Amazon links. Look, guys, if it wasn't for that, we would not be able to do this. You know what? This is content that you guys have asked for. These are all things that someone has asked for. I'm not asking for the super expensive stuff. I want the mid-range, good quality stuff. But you know what? This is a budget channel. So we're gonna try to keep it budget, even when we're getting free parts, guys. Let's go ahead and dive right into this. All right, guys, you ready? We have some BBK headers for the car. You know, I was talking with Tyler and was trying to figure out exactly what we wanted to do to the car next. And you know, this is one of the things that you guys have asked about many times, you know, Headers are always a good thing. Uh, my car has stock headers on it, as you can see. You know, and I'm not totally against that. That's fine, you know, but these headers will look nice and let the car flow a little better. Let's go ahead and open these things up and see what we've got today. Let's see what LMR has hooked us up with, guys. BBK Shorty Headers. Perfect. As you can see, I had already opened the box. Well, I opened the box because I needed to know exactly which header gaskets to run because I couldn't remember the shape of these tubes. So I wanted to open the box up, make sure everything was there and see what it was that I had to use. And look at that, sent the gaskets too. So thank you LMR very much for sending the headers and the gaskets. So here's our bolt kit, just some information here and a QR code that you can scan. Uh, you can watch install videos and you can download install PDFs. Awesome, got some BBK stickers that will probably just go on the box today. Definitely not going on the car. All right, and some more stuff. These things are reasonably priced and they're a good header. So I'm pleased with them. This is what I asked for. This is what we've got. So we are gonna go ahead. Uh, I've gotta get the car jacked up so I can get up under there and unbolt the H pipe. And uh, these shouldn't take too long, but I don't know if these headers have ever been off. So there's a good chance that more than likely the uh, gasket's gonna be stuck to the heads and they're probably gonna be rock hard. All right guys, that's enough of me talking. We have the dreaded head mount on. Sorry, I know a lot of you don't like it, but you know, I don't have anybody with me right now and I gotta have my hands free. So we're gonna use the head mount and uh, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through, you know, what we're doing here. So first off, all we're gonna do is just take off the charge pipe. This is really simple, guys. Now this car does not have all the EGR connections. So with that being said, mine is gonna come out a lot easier. So as we look down here, you can see that this is really not that big of a job. Like I said, the, the biggest issue here is gonna be the gaskets are more than likely gonna be stuck to the head. So uh, when you do this, always take your spark plugs out because more than likely you will break them. Now on some of these, you can actually get a socket and a ratchet in there to it. All I'm doing right this second is just breaking them loose. All right guys, everything is loose. Next up, we're just gonna pull the spark plugs out. And those are gonna be five eighths. Just take your time because, you know, some of these come off really easy. And then, you know, sometimes bolts want to break off and whatnot. So, you know, you're just going to have to take your time and you're going to have to fill the car out and see everything seems to be coming out pretty good with this one. So it's not going to be too bad. Car looks like it may be a touch lean, but that looks pretty good actually. So uh, anyway, I'm not going to bore you with the details. I'm going to go ahead, pull all these out, take all the bolts out, and then we'll get down to business. All right. So that took about, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe. So as you can see, the header gasket's coming right off. So I got really, really lucky there. More than likely at some point they've been changed, but uh, it's just that simple guys, at least from up here. 
Now, I will have to get under the car and take off the H pipe, but for right now, it's a pretty simple job. Just gonna go in and do the same thing on this side. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get the dipstick out of the way. That's gonna need to come out of the way and uh, everything's been pre-soaked, so it should come out pretty easy. At some point here real soon, we are definitely gonna have to address all these oil leaks. It's coming, I promise. There is no point in showing you guys this. You take all these bolts out across here, take your spark plugs out, and you're really good to go at that point. And just like that, we have both headers off, at least up top. And look at that, guys. Man, that's lucky. Gaskets come right off with the headers. So that's gonna be super easy to clean up, super easy to get ready. All right, so we got that one off. We got that one off. Now the only thing to do is jack the car up and take off the mid pipe. That's it. Get these things out of here, drop the new ones on, bolt them up. Guys, that is officially gonna wrap it up tonight. Uh, I'm gonna probably go ahead and get the car jacked up tonight, get it kind of ready. Tomorrow I'll come out here and pop these headers off. All right, see you in the morning. all right guys we are back it is day two i got john over here and andrew so last night i went ahead and pulled the uh h pipe out from under the car and forgot to video that no big deal there's only four bolts down there that i took off and i'll show you in a minute what i had to do now this is a very simple project the only thing that you might run into and there were a few curse words i'm not gonna lie was the actual h pipe itself uh, a lot of times what will happen whenever you're taking your H pipe off, a lot of times these studs want to come out. So they want to unscrew like this one did, but they need to stay in. So you see that little lip, that lip is to keep this from driving too far up. Well, when it comes out this way, you can't get that lip through the actual flange on the H pipe. So that was an issue. I had to pull the H pipe out from under the car and basically grind that off and get it out. This isn't an exact how to video. All this is just showing you the process and more of a review on these headers. We'll tell you this, they fit really good. And how do I know that? Because I've already got one on. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead, take this header out, and I'll show you what they look like in the car. So everything is unbolted, just like it was last night. All right, guys, here we go. It's pretty easy. And I was lucky on this one too. As you can see, the gasket come off with it too, so. I'm telling you guys, we've been lucky on this. We'll use Andrew's caramel apple oatmeal cream pies. I swear, this, he's like a two year old, I swear. We'll go ahead and use that as our stand. Uh, so all you do on these headers to get them prepared to install, very simple. All you do is just take your studs and screw those in. That's it. Just bottom them out and they're good to go. And I'm not on the threads right here. There's a flat spot where no threads are, so if you need to grab it and turn it, just take, piece of, take you some vice grips or something and do that. A lot of times these threads in the uh, chroming process uh, get a little galled up, so it'll take a little bit of pressure to get them uh, all the way through. Well, all right, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Look, come here. What you got in your hand there, bud? Do you really think that that's gonna help? The fact that you eat shit like that all day? Yeah, it offsets. Is that, is that an yeah, offset? offset. Uh -huh. I agree he right. thinks he's balancing everything out by eating an apple. Rocco's got a surprise for you here in just a few minutes after we get done with this. I'll give you a small sneak peek. And start, i probably start about right here. Let's go ahead and push it through the gasket and everything. Get your header down in there. All right. You just want to get it started and then just move to the next all right these headers are really nice uh, all the bolt holes line up really good so you don't have to worry about the headers tweaking and bending and whatnot there is a bar that goes all the way across so that makes the install super easy so i'm going to go ahead put all the rest of the bolts in these and start tightening everything up and we'll put the h pipe on afterwards all right guys, so this is what I was talking about. Um, see, so we, we've got three bolts in already and I'll show you just how quick everything starts. You see that? That started. And 
that one is started also. So that's just how easy it is to keep everything aligned. You know, and that's because of that bar that goes all the way across here. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes once we get everything tightened up and then I'll get under the car and I'll show you the install of the H pipe. I'm gonna show you just how easy these things are to tighten up. So they come with these really small bolts here with a 10 millimeter head on them. And that enables you to get in here with something like a gear wrench and turn these. You could get in here with a socket, with a ratchet and a socket also, but uh, they leave you enough room. Look at that guys, to get in here like this. That's awesome. What I do is just go in and snug everything up first. I don't want to over tighten anything. Let's get them all snug and then you can come back and kind of ramp them down a little bit. I've had these headers in the past, but I cannot remember um, how easy the spark plugs are to get in and out. So that'll be something that we'll have to look at here in a few minutes. Um, see if these spark plugs are able to go in and out easily. All right, guys, we are going to go ahead, crawl up under the car and try to install this H pipe. Usually not the fun part here. So what we're going to do is going to get Andrew under here with me. He don't know it yet. And we are on. Anyway, this, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and, and cut this short. But this is where the studs come out of the header up here. So uh, this is where your H pipe will bolt and unbolt is up in here. It's hard to get a camera up here. so. Just leave you guys with that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tighten everything up, and we will see you guys up top. Well, all right, Andrew is under there finishing up the H-pipe, tightening up the last few things, and uh, we are done, guys. There's really nothing to this. Um, I know it looks like it's all long and drawn out, but this is really a simple task. Uh, the only thing left to do is throw the plugs in the car, put the wires back on it, but it's, it's such a simple task. It really is. Now, I'm not saying that it'll be that easy for everybody because those H-pipes... And they, they they become hard to handle under there, but uh, if you get you know if you got somebody with you, it's usually not that big of a deal. We were able to throw that H pipe back up there, tighten everything down pretty quick. So we're gonna go ahead, throw the plugs back in the car, put the wires on it, and bust it off. Now this thing's gonna have to go through a couple different heat cycles, uh, and then we're gonna have to come back and check the headers to make sure they're still tight. I did tighten them up really tight for right now, but more than likely after they get hot and cold a couple times, they're gonna loosen up. So always remember that. But we'll go over that in a few minutes. Started a couple of these spark plugs, as you can see down there. So I've started a couple of these and it was so easy. Well, I figured I would go ahead and show you guys just how easy they are to start. I mean, you have tons of room back here and you gotta get the right angle. But look at that, that one started. So you have plenty of room to get in here and get these spark plugs started. Yep. So I'm not gonna tighten them all up right now. We're just gonna kind of check, see, and get into that. Get into that one. And this one back here, more than likely, you're not gonna want an extension on. And there you go. So, so far, I absolutely love these headers. Uh, you know, the fit and finish on is great. That's one of the main things. That was one of the first things that John commented on whenever he come in about how nice the headers look. They just fold up so easily and you can get all your spark plugs. All right, I want to go ahead and tighten everything up, put the spark plug wires on. If I run into an issue, I'll let you know about it. So one of the things that John brought to my attention that I had forgotten all about and is very true on these headers, before you fire the car up, you want to go ahead and clean these things off with like a brake cleaner or something like that because these fingerprints will stain and start to rust. So uh, you want to go ahead, keep them clean. Uh, Honestly, what I've done in years past is just come in with a light coat of WD-40 across them every so often. That seems to kind of keep them from rusting up on you. But, you know, let's, let's be real. They're eventually going to rust, so it's okay, but you don't want all these fingerprints uh, right off the bat with these things. And if you take care of them, they will last a very, very long time. The black car that I used to have, it has those on there right now. I don't know if you guys saw it in the video or not, but uh, he's got these exact headers on his car, and they still look great. But, you know, he takes care of them. He maintains them like he's supposed to. So we're gonna be sure to go ahead, uh, spray them down with some brake cleaner, get them cleaned off before we bust it off. And we are only probably about five minutes away from busting this car off and seeing what these new headers sound like. I don't expect a huge change, but it definitely should deepen the car up a little bit, maybe free up a couple horsepower. When you first put your headers on and you get everything buttoned up, don't just drop it straight down on the ground and think it's gonna be good. You're probably gonna have to run the car a few times, you know, on, off, get under there, tighten a little bit more, and so on and so forth. Uh, like I said, this stuff just needs to run through heat cycles before you usually get it right. Now, sometimes you can get lucky, button everything up, and you're good to go. But that's never my luck. All right, let's start it up. See what we got.
All right, so we still got a very small leak over here. I'm just showing you guys this because this is part of the process. Uh, I'm gonna go back under here, tighten it up again, and then go some more. And the reason why we keep tightening up is the flanges are actually touching, so are very close to touching. So uh, each time, you know, we just go as far as it'll allow us to go, run it through a little quick heat cycle, and you'd be amazed you're able to tighten it some more. So we're almost there. We've almost we've almost got it done. So hopefully here in a few minutes we'll be able to make some noise, and get this thing on the ground. headers installed on the car and I could not be any happier now I am having a little bit of an issue with my H pipe leaking the flange had been tightened up too much and it, and it pulled it up on the sides and kind of bowed the flange up so I got a little bit of a leak over here on the driver's side no big deal it's not the headers fault the headers bolted up great speaking of which these headers are phenomenal if you guys have never used these with the flange that goes all the way across the top you need to try it you can hand thread each bolt into each tube of these headers because they all hold together with that flange across the top so by all means if you've been thinking about getting a set of sh uh, shorty headers try these out these are the bbks they're great and as always there will be a link down in the description directly to these headers on lmr site and there's also a link in every one of my videos that goes to lmr's home page what this does is just show traffic from my youtube channel through lmr's page i don't make any money off of it but like I said, it just shows traffic and that shows LMR that you guys are supporting me and the channel and they can continue to send us parts like this, right? Also want to say thank you all for the support. You've been wonderful. We're getting close to 7,000 subscribers. I think that's going to be a, a huge landmark and won't be too much longer. We'll be at 10,000. So thank you guys so much for all the support, all the kind words. And as always, thanks for watching. Look at that, guys.